Hello, we're kicking off with Hollywood news for you. Actor Nicolas Cage is in the UK for the release of his new film, Knowing. The conspiracy thriller about the unearthing of a time capsule and a code of numbers that can predict the future of the world's natural and man-made disasters. It's out on the UK on Wednesday the 25th, but has already topped the North American box office, making just over £17 million in its first three days. And tomorrow, I am going to interview the man himself. Oh yes, Death Meets the Cage. And I want to know if you have any questions you would like me to put to him. What's been his favourite film, Ghost Rider, Con Air, Leaving Las Vegas? Or what type of character would he like to play that he hasn't had the chance to yet? Let us know by emailing citylife at channelm.co.uk. Now, first up is some theatre for you. Robert's talking to three of the cast of The Caretaker, which is currently on at the Bolton Octagon, including Jeff Hordley, who is about to come back on our screens as Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. What then do you think it is about The Caretaker that sets it apart from Pinter's work? Why is this the one that's referred to as being his most important work? Well, it was very early, wasn't it? it was mm. the one that this was the breakthrough on piece, wasn't it? He'd already written The Room, I think. Well, I mean, I, my feeling was, and the general feeling was, that it has such a, a surface brilliance of humour mm. that uh, audiences greeted it with apparently gales of laughter in the West End, and they didn't need to penetrate into the murky depths which are there if you choose to penetrate sure. into them. So there, there was this thing, this, this play is accessible. Mm. You find it funny. Mm. And he said, Pinder said, well, I'm quite happy that they should laugh as long as they sort of perceive something else along the way. I've got to bring myself now to you and your next, um, your next bit of work because you're returning to a fairly familiar I am. character. Yes, I am. So yeah. without going too much into you know, what you know that's coming up, you've, you've spent now a bit of time doing stage and, and doing mm -hmm. the screen as well, but, mm -hmm. but, but focusing on stage. Are you going to miss this? Are you going to miss these little runs, these little... Absolutely, absolutely indeed, but um, the, uh, they have already indicated that perhaps I could go out and do plays in the future should I stay there long enough, so, okay. so I, I, I hopefully I am going to miss it, but I'm also kind of looking, back, looking forward to kind of going How back and meeting them. Two there? and a half years. Okay, so, so I just went there today to do like costume fittings and everything, it was lovely to see everyone and people were kind of like, Two and a half years, is it that long? You know, it feels, doesn't feel as long as it, to some people, probably the people who have been there, because when you're in a job all the time. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to going back there, but I will miss being on stage, and that's why I really wanted to get to do this before I went back into the world of television. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for um, agreeing to do this today. I'm glad we didn't do it individually, because I think something rather warm and cuddly has just happened there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, here's some ideas for you to plan ahead for on a Tuesday evening. The comic masterpiece Hot House by Harold Pinter is on at the John Thor Studio Theatre. For a cabaret night of futuristic pop and electric disco beats, Seville Play is on at night and day. Brief Encounter by Noel Coward is on at the Lowry. That tells the story of a woman who must choose between her predictable suburban marriage or the love of her life when she meets a man in a railway station tea room. Sounds like a dilemma. We shall finish with music news and a five-piece Seattle bass band, Fleet Foxes, who have added five regional headline shows as part of their summer tour, including a Manchester date at the Apollo on the 11th of September. Here they are with one of their videos, He Doesn't Know Why. I never do. There's Say